Is there advice you can give to young people? Sort of uh, high school, college, you know, thinking about their career, thinking about life, how to live one they're proud of. I think the the number one thing I can tell people is, and how I've lived my life is, you've really got to like forget everybody in your life right now, your mother, your father, your grandparents, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever it is, and really decide like, what is going to make you happy, right? At some point in my career, the act of pushing my body to the limit made me happier than winning a Grand Slam medal. Pushing my body to the limit didn't make me happier than winning an Olympic medal, right? There was a, there's a balance there. And I think a lot of people struggle with living their life where they're happy and they make other people happy or take in their their feelings into the considerations of what they need to do in their life. And I think if they can cut those strings sooner, it'll allow you to get over it quicker and get to a happier place sooner. And then as long as you're focusing on what's making you happy, the things you do that make you happy will attract other people who do those things that will in turn build stronger, better relationships. And then you will also realize the the best form of yourself and inspire many others. Like yeah. you've inspired me <laughs> to uh, for whatever the hell I've done, uh, at least to do a, a slightly better job than I otherwise would have by doing martial arts, by taking that uh, journey. And I think becoming a better person because of it. So Travis, I have been, I continue to be, uh, one of your biggest fans. I love your whole career in the way you pursued happiness. I love what you and Jimmy have done. I love the sport of uh, judo as represented by you. So I deeply appreciate what you've done, man. Thank and you. I'm honored that you would uh, spend your time with me today. Thanks for Thank talking, you. man. Thank you.